Well, it's not just Valentine's Day today, it's also a holy day for the faithful, known as Ash Wednesday, the beginning of Lenten season. Ash Wednesday is often observed by fasting. So how could this impact Valentine's Day celebrations today? Well, Mackenzie Gerald is here with more. Yeah, Jen, I spoke with a local priest who says it's possible to honor both Valentine's Day and the start of Lent. Well, this week begins the season of Lent, which for us as Catholics is a penitential season where we uh, take time out and stop from all the busyness of life and everything else going on to really reflect on who we are as Catholics. And there's a sense of self-sacrifice to it. It's a little odd because Valentine's Day, always falling on February 14th, every couple of years this ends up happening. When these two days overlap, Father Matt Baum from St. John Galber Cathedral says some Catholics struggle with celebrating Valentine's Day while also honoring Ash Wednesday because Ash Wednesday is the start of a 40-day Lenten period where many begin a fast. So it's a reasonably uh, easy fast to do, but it's still something that reminds us of who we are and why we do what we do. So how are some Catholics getting over this obstacle? Well, I'm hearing a bunch of Catholics who said, well, you know, the restaurants are busy on that day anyway, so let's just go out the day before and it's Fat Tuesday anyway, Mardi Gras anyway. Um, so I'm finding a lot of our couples are just celebrating Valentine's Day a day early, which I guess works out for all the families and then lets us begin that season of Lent with uh, all the kind of do solemnity and penitential spirit that goes into the season of Lent. Yeah, Baum says some Catholics may not choose to fast and that's okay. Well, and I guess Lent is also the season for confession. And so where we uh, fall short and where we fall short of what we're called to do, that's where we ask God's forgiveness, ask his help to do better. Um, and we'll be having penance services through the Lenten season for exactly that reason. We all fall short. We all come short of what we're called to do, but we're also called to work to do better. Baum reminds local Catholics they will be giving out ashes at St. John's in downtown Johnstown at 7 a.m., 12.05 p.m., and 6 p.m. today. For Catholics not in the area, Baum says you can find out a time to get ashes at a church near you in the church bulletin or on their website. Reporting live, Mackenzie Jarrell, 6 News. Thanks for watching the WJAC YouTube channel. For more top stories and breaking news, be sure to subscribe to this channel and download our news app.